Good morning, everybody. It's 618, and you can see we have a little bit of fog on the lens there and some widespread rain showers, which I'll show you on radar here in just a minute. Areas of fog continue not only today, but also tonight and probably right on through the weekend. Got a lot of snow that we're melting out there uh, from that Arctic blast and that snowstorm that we had a week and a half ago. Rising river levels, uh, so keep your eye on those if you live along a riverbed. And our next rain and snow chance after today comes into play next week, Tuesday. By the way, I don't know if you saw that the normal high for this time of the year is 31 degrees. I want you to know we have hit bottom. The normal high yesterday was 30. So we've already hit bottom. We're starting to bounce back. The average high or the normal high is now 31. So we've hit bottom. We're on our way back up and we don't have anywhere to go but up from here all the way into June or July when our normal high becomes 83 degrees. I'm just saying that's where we're going long term. We are beginning to dry out a little bit across our southern counties, but not so much along and north of I-96. You can see, uh, and we're going to continue to shut this down and dry out as we go over the next couple of hours, but there's likely a little more rain shower activity coming in this afternoon and this evening. This is more widespread across our northern counties, so you've got some wet pavement out there, but at least it's not icy because our temperatures are above the freezing mark in all locations. So there is a little feeling of security this morning, knowing that it's just wet pavement when at this time of the year, on this date, the 26th of January, we could be looking at an icing event, and that's not the case. So good news there. Our visibilities are reduced. We have some areas of fog, but it's not nearly as dense as it's been the last uh, few days. Clouds and radar moving over the last six hours to show you just this widespread swath of moisture moving through the area that's going to drop anywhere from a half inch to an inch of precipitation. That will lift out of here. Then there's a little bit of a break, but there's some upper level energy that has to pivot on through the Great Lakes. So we'll likely see the redevelopment this afternoon in evening of some light rain showers. So some morning rain showers will be most widespread then. Otherwise, cloudy, gloomy areas of fog. Probably a few more light showers this afternoon and early evening. 37 degrees for the high. Future track shows that low moving away at 9 o'clock. But see this area of precipitation kind of spreading into the areas. That upper level energy creates lift and kind of pivots on through the area. That goes into the afternoon hours, around the dinner hour, and probably into part of the evening. It's a lighter rain, and the models have it from Grand Rapids north word. Otherwise, through the overnight hours, it's out of here. But look at all the gray shading on this map for both Saturday and Sunday. That's what we're talking about. Just gloomy conditions with some areas of fog. There's a system moving Saturday night into uh, Sunday morning uh, over Ohio that could throw a few snowflakes back into southeastern lower Michigan. I think most of our area will escape that. But just all that extensive cloud cover, there's just no sunshine in the forecast anytime soon. 100% chance of rain today uh, and a few more showers this afternoon in the evening that drops off this weekend and then our next chance of some rain or snow showers uh, is on Tuesday with the next little clipper system coming in there uh, as we look at our forecast we're in the mid to upper 30s for highs today upper 30s tomorrow we're in the upper 30s for Sunday still dry 36 degrees on Monday and our next clipper system comes in with some rain and snow chances on Tuesday next week Wednesday and Thursday we may be 40 degrees or better and that is about mm, 10 11 degrees above normal for this time of the year that's weather it's 621.